Now this question says, uh, we have a non-conducting thin disk of radius R. So we have a non-conducting disk of radius R. So let me make the thin disk. So there is a thin disk and this disk has a radius R. So disk of radius R. So the radius of this disk is capital R. Now this disk is charged uniformly. So one side it is charged with charge density sigma. So one side of the disk you have a surface charge density that is given to you sigma and this surface charge density is basically uniform. So this is a uniform distribution of charge. Now the question says it is rotated about its axis. So this is the axis of rotation about which this gets rotated. So this is axis of rotation and it is rotated with angular velocity omega about its axis. First part of the question says calculate the magnetic induction at the center. So we have to calculate magnetic induction at center. How will you proceed? Uh, let us call this point as center is my O. So we have to calculate magnetic induction at point O. How will you proceed? You see if this disk is rotating and there will be a current are you getting or not. So if you see and this magnetic induction due to the circle is given by mu naught i by 2 r. So what we can do is so let us take this disk. So let us say this is my disk. And now if I consider at a radius r, and let us consider a small circle at radius r. And then you consider another circle of r plus dr. So let us say this is at r plus dr. So thickness of this is dr. Are you getting or not? So this is r and this is r plus dr. So now I know thickness of this is basically dr. Now if you see this will contain some charges, so there are some charges, so this has some charge and this charge is rotating, are you getting or not? We can calculate basically what is the total charge. So total charge on elemental disk, so let us call this the elemental ring. So we can calculate charge on elemental ring, so we will have charge on elemental ring. So calculate this one, so charge on elemental ring. So how much charge you will have? So the area is 2 pi r into dr because this is a radius r. So 2 pi r into dr into sigma. So this will give you the total charge on elemental ring. Are you getting or not? So this is the charge. What is the current due to the elemental ring? So now I can find current due to the elemental ring. current in the elemental ring. How will you proceed for this part? So you have this much of charge and this charge, this is rotating with omega velocity. So one revolution, what is the time period? So T is the time period. So this takes time period is 2 pi by omega. So it is rotating with angular velocity omega. This means in one time period, all the charges will cross over one this, this cross section. So if you see, if you consider any cross section, let us say this cross section, this whole charge will cross through this cross section in a time of t and t is 2 pi by omega. Are you getting or not? So now I can calculate. So this is the charge that has been crossed through this cross section and this is the time over which this has crossed. So now I know current is nothing but q by t. So if I apply this formula, so I will have something like this, 2 pi r dr into sigma and this divided by 2 pi by omega. Are you getting? Now we have to calculate magnetic induction at center. So let us calculate due to this ring, what is the magnetic induction at the center? I can assume this ring is kept at a radius r, elemental ring. So radius r and the current is this. So let us say current is i dash. So this is i dash or i let us say divided by 2r. So this is the magnetic induction at the center. Now i value we can put here. So if I put plug the value of i that is 2 pi r 
sigma into dr and this divided by 2 pi by omega. So this is the value of i. Now what I have to do next is I have to integrate to get the total b. So now I will have dv is equals to so 2 pi goes so we will have simply omega into sigma r dr simple. Now if we integrate both sides so this is inner radius is 0 and the outer radius is capital R we have already said and this goes from 0 to b. So we will have b is equals to and here I also have r so let us say I have left r so there is a r. So there is a r basically. So there is a r dr and integration of r is r square by 2. So this simply becomes omega sigma and r square by 2. So this is the magnetic field that is induced at the center or you can see magnetic field that is there at the center due to revolution of these charges. Are you getting? Uh -huh. No, this there will be no R because this R and this R cancels. So basically this R and this R cancels. So there will be no R here. So I should have no R here. Initially it was right. So this is simply dr. Are you getting or not? So there is no R. So this becomes simply R. So integration of dr is R. So there is no R square. And here also I will have no R square. And more one more thing that I have left that is mu naught. So I will have mu naught here. So everywhere I have to multiply by mu naught. So I will have mu naught. Are you getting a naught? So this is mu naught. This is again mu naught. So final is mu naught omega. So B is given by mu naught omega sigma r and this divided by 2. So this is the magnetic field at the center. Now the next part calculating the dipole moment at the center or that is a magnetic moment of the center. So second part says magnetic moment of the disk. What is the magnetic moment of the disk? So disk is not set center. So magnetic moment is a property of disk. It is not at the center. So calculate the magnetic moment that is mu i into a. This is a vector basically i into a. Similarly I can do the same thing whatever we have now. So I am interested in magnitude i into a. So we said for this current, for di current or for this small current, ring, I will take the same thing. For this current, this is here, I can assume radius is constant, so area is pi r square. So I will have d mu is equals to i times, this is pi r square. And now I know the value of i. What is the value of i? This is the value of i. So this value, let us say 2 pi r sigma dr, 2 pi r sigma dr, so i is 2 pi r sigma dr divided by 2 pi by omega, so this is the time period. So this becomes, so 2 pi 2 pi goes, omega I will have on the top, so you will have omega r sigma dr, so this is your current. And this multiplied by pi r square. So this is what? So this is omega sigma pi and r q dr. So let us check again. So this is d mu. If I want to find total mag dipole mo magnetic moment, it's not dipole moment. So electric will be defined dipole moment. So this total magnetic moment I have to simply integrate. And this is 0 to mu, obvious. And this is 0 to capital R. Now if you do this integration what I will have, so this side I will have mu is equals to pi omega sigma and this is r4 by 4, so simple. So this is the magnetic moment uh, due to this loop, so pi sigma omega, so I can write again, so this is pi sigma omega r4 by 4. So this is your magnetic moment, are you getting or not? 